Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Sim City. Let's continue developing Chicago. Last time, we got up to 226 residential zone levels, which is two more than I need to develop another school and a hospital. But I want to get a couple more levels to serve as a buffer in case some of these decide to regress or lose a level. So I'm going to extend the rails up to that commercial zone to serve as a valid destination for these residential zones. And that way, that'll be one less excuse they would have to regress a level there. And the sea top will be able to develop just fine, even losing a little bit of land value there. It's okay. It won't have a problem there. Okay, we got one level going there. Two levels, that'll be good enough for my needs. Okay, so let's see how our zone distribution is looking at this point. Okay, I want to build five residential, three industrial, and three commercial zones. Let's see, over here, I want to get started on the sea tap over here, but I only want to build the lower part first because I want to be able to take advantage of the park tiles in the neighboring 4x4 region because the home 4x4 region is completely packed. So we need every little bit of help we can get. And yeah, the rest of this will be fine. I don't want to put parks over here because that'll overflow the land value of the bank and that would hurt the development of that commercial zone even more than it already is. So why don't we just get all these connected now that we've gotten all the tops done there. That'll be good for that. And then let's get a couple more sea tops going. We'll finish that sea top that way. And then this one right over there. Get some transportation and power connected. Okay, so with the 4x4 regions there, this one will be fine where it is. The upper one... Yeah, I'm using a couple tiles for power lines, but that's okay. It'll be fine. It'll develop just fine. And let's see. Besides, it's got plenty of land value left to the right above it. It's got plenty to get the job done. Although, I want to get rid of that rail. Now that we have the seat top developed there, I only need a rail touching the left or the upper part of the seat top there to keep it around. Okay, so we got the commercial zones ready. Let's build a few more industrials. Okay, and we got power and transportation ready to go there, so that'll be good. And then I actually want to build seven residential zones in hopes that two of them will develop into a school or a hospital there. Hopefully not both. That could be bad. But we'll just keep an eye on things here for now. Early hospital. Always good to see. Can we get another school? Alright, there we go. But we have a problem here. Because now we have eight hospitals. Even though we're only supposed to have seven. Because two of them were developed in the same week when the game was checking that. So what will happen now is... Somewhere down the line, the game will check the residential zone levels and be like, Hey, we got more hospitals or schools than we're supposed to have, and it'll cause some, one of them to regress. But, just in the same way that you can get two hospitals to spawn in the same week, you can lose multiples of them in the same week. So, I'm just going to get that one out of there before the game has a chance to close down more of the hospitals and then let's see I want to put the residential zone somewhere else maybe yeah we could go over there that might that might work out let's just make sure we don't get another hospital we shouldn't be able to but then you're not supposed to get multiple hospitals in a row like that either okay there we go Let's just make sure everything is updated. Okay, good. Seven hospitals and seven schools right now. That's all I need. And then, yeah, let's keep an eye on the new commercial zones. 
let's see, up here, I also want to keep an eye on the R-tops there, in case some of them decide to merge improperly. Okay, we already got this developing to the high class, that's good. That, uh, that'll help out to start that way. Okay, how are we doing over here? Still good. The sea top is almost done there as well. How are we looking now? Okay, so yeah, we're almost there with the sea top. I would like to see a little more development from these commercial zones. Okay, what do we got now? Still nothing more. Yeah, we got zones developing all over the place now. Okay, so yeah, a little more there, and we got an improper R top there. That's what I was worried about. Okay, so with this one, let's see. I need to keep the power connected there. So how about we do this? Let's go like that for now, and then get rid of those three. Okay, so I'm just thinking if I want to reconnect the rails right away or not. I don't think so. I want it to go down a level, at least. So let's wait a little bit on that. Okay, now let's get them reconnected. I don't want to lose too many levels here because we got this R4 waiting in the wings right there. Okay, but we're still doing pretty good around here. Let's keep the speed low a bit for now and just keep an eye on things. Okay, there we go. We got the proper R top there. All right, let's get back to business with these commercial zones and fast forward until some of them get developing looks like the land value is updated but yeah you see here with this commercial zone what happened is when it got a sufficiently high population there it increased the population density in the area a lot there and more population density means more crime in the area and it just the crime is just barely high enough to reduce the land value under what i need for a c5 high commercial zone so what i want to do is let's get a police department here to help out and see how that influences the development and we don't need the land value in this area anymore. So now it's a good time to build a police department anyway. Okay, so we got those. These are looking good. Let's just keep an eye on the commercial zones. Keep it on low speed for now until next month, maybe. And now that we've built six police departments, we get a police department headquarters. So let's see, I want to put that down here, but I'd also like to be able to see where I'm building. There we go. Okay, so with this one, that ought to be good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But let's actually get some of the forest out of the way just in case. So we don't have any overflow problems. Just clear the area. And I would like to get a or get some power going over here since the headquarters actually cares about that unlike almost every other gift okay so we got that okay let's wait for the land value to update on the commercial zone in the lower left okay and how are we doing up here let's see no more progress yet but that's okay just leave that for now yeah, we got stuff developing all over the city now. That's one thing I like about this part. Just having a lot of different things going on at once, trying to keep track of everything. It's pretty challenging. Not as challenging as Gungnir. No, we're not talking crazy, but we do have a lot of things going on at once here now. Okay, so... Hmm. I think I want to wait on building more residential zones. Yeah, why don't we... Uh... Yeah, I'll check it out a little bit later. 
I want to see if I can get a little more going on here, and then I'll see what my zone levels are like. Okay, so we got that one going. Nothing new there. Okay, but why don't we just uh, see where we stand right now. Okay, so we got two new R tops there. So that'll bring us up to 16 uh, R tops total. And then, okay, so we've got, let's see. Okay, so three R3s and an R4. And then, let's see. Okay, so we've got one R1. No more uh, buildings or anything to worry about. Let's see. Okay, so we got three R2s. And then, let's see. One, two, uh, two more R3s. And then, how many R4s do we got? Five? Yeah, five ought to do. Okay, so, yeah, we're still well short of 256, which is what I need for another hospital and school. So, we'll just keep an eye on things for now. I'm going to keep it on slow for a while until I get the land value to update for this commercial zone. The police department should change it eventually. Hey, we got the C-top going up there. Uh-oh, we might have an improper... Our top going there though. Watch out. But yeah, the zone class won't change unless. Ah, there we go. Yeah, until it gains or loses a level there. So yeah, you see, that's how police departments work in the game. They compensate for uh, too much population density. So I want to get this one to develop into a C5 before building the upper part. But, uh, okay, yeah, so we got that going. If I could get that into a C5, I'm just, or right now, that would be nice. I'm just thinking, if I do that, hmm. Yeah, I think I would probably want to wait on that a little bit. Okay, so we got a little more down there. Okay, so, yeah, why don't we, uh, yeah, let's wait a little bit. Let's see. Oh, well, yeah, I might as well see what we got. We got rid of the R1s, though, so at least we've gotten them to develop a little more there. But, uh, okay, so we've got two R3s. No more R2, or, well, we got one R2. And then, let's see, four, eight, ten, R, or what is it? Yeah, ten, uh, what is it? R4s, and two more R3s. Okay, yeah, that ought to be more than enough to get another school and hospital going. Okay, so let's go one there, and then two over there okay so yeah I'm just gonna leave the power connected that way but let's see I would like to get power over here so that I can get rid of the power lines here clear the area Okay, and then these two will develop really easily because we've got so much land value in the home 4x4 regions. So, I think it's okay to build a police department up here to help out. And that won't, like, take up critical tiles of parks. It'll be fine. Okay, then, yeah, let's get a little more around here. Yeah, just fill in everything, as long as I'm not developing other stuff in the area. Okay, that ought to be good. Oh, and I need a rail here. So let's go right there. Yeah, that's an easy one to build. Okay, then let's... Oh, uh, I meant to do that! I thought I built that off a tile for a moment there. Like, sound effect or something threw me off. <laughs> 
Okay, and then I want... Well, I want six more residential zones, but I'll build eight to get another hospital and school. Okay. Let's see, let's go... Yeah, I can build over here just fine. I'm just a little concerned about this neighboring 4x4 region. I won't build further up, though. Okay, so... I think I can build one more... here, and be okay, but... Mm, I'm a little concerned about that location. I'm just thinking maybe I could, like, build a couple more here and then go around like that with the rails. Let me see here. Okay, so if we start here, okay, we would go up four, left two, and down one. Yeah, that would still work. But I don't want to go any higher than that. <laughs> That would interfere with the the sea tops there. Okay, so we got eight going here, and yeah, let's just see how these ones do first, and then if I need to, I can demolish or move stuff around. Mm, not a good start. Well, at least we got one of the guys I wanted, and the school. Okay, there you go. Pulling it out in the clutch. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not worried about that commercial zone anymore. Now it's fine. Okay, so those are looking good. Yeah, I mostly want to keep an eye on the new commercial zones. Well, at least the ones over here. And the R top over to the right. Concerns me. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to break that up eventually. Okay, we're going to do it now. I said I was going to say I want to wait until one of these other ones becomes an R4. But, yeah, there, that'll work. Okay, let's go one more level off. Okay, that's enough. Just keep an eye on that and let it regrow on its own there. And that'll be good. Let's see how the tally is looking here. Okay, very nice. All I need is one more school, and then I can get the third and final library. Okay, yeah, why don't we fast forward now that we've gotten all this going, and another R-top. Very nice. Wow, lots of schools and hospitals in the same area. Just kind of worked out that way. <laughs> Whatever works. And it's reasonably close to the center of the city there. Yeah, maybe I uh, overestimated how much capital I needed to save up before cutting the high tax rate. Whoops. Okay, so we got this one going so I can build the upper part at any time. I mean, once I build more residential zones, that is, of course. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's just... Yeah, keep going. I'm surprised the right one hasn't developed at all yet. Oh, I might be able to get uh, an R-top over here. I wasn't really planning on that. But that could help. Especially now that I don't need to jack up the tax rate anymore. Let's see, if I get that other R-top, I think that'll be... More than good enough to uh, get me up to... I need to get up to 288 residential zone levels. Hey, we got another sea top. Very nice. Okay, why don't we uh, check what we've got right now. Okay, so we've got one R1. Okay, and three R3, or well, four. R3s, and the rest of them are all R4s. So, we should be looking pretty good at this point. But, let's just, uh, double check here. 
Okay, so we got 17 tops at the moment. And then, okay, so how many R4s do we got now? A lot. Let's see, 4, 7, 11, let's see, 13, 14 of those. And, yeah, that's very good enough. 292 residential zone levels. And that'll be good enough to get the, the last school and hospital. Okay, so now, let's get this one started there. And, yeah, unfortunately, I gotta put a rail in one of the neighboring 4x4 regions. Not much I can do about that. We'll see how this one develops, if I need to demolish some of these, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, so we got that. Let's get the other two... Hmm... I'm just thinking if I want to build them here, or maybe get started over here a little bit. This one's going to take a little while to develop, so... Yeah, why don't we get something going over here first? Get that one started. And go from there. I want to develop it here first, before going up there, because I've already gotten some of the or industrial zones around here, and I'm not sure if that would hinder the see top development there. I think I'll be fine, but we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, then three more industrial zones. We don't need any police departments for these industrial zones. They will be fine. They don't care about crime rate or land value or anything. Just keep them away from things that do care about land value. Okay, so I want to build... Eight more. I think it's eight more. Well, six more, but two more for the school and hospital. Yeah, yeah. So let's get eight more of these. Okay, so let's see. If I go here, that'll be fine. If I go there... I'm just trying to stay out of the... That area there. Let's see. I think I'll be fine there. Then let's get another one there. Cut that off, like that. That'll be good for now. Eventually, I'll build more here once I get the C-tops going, but I don't want to go any higher than that. Because if I go higher than that, let's say we're starting here looking for a valid destination, I would go up, then to the right, and then run out of uh, distance to cover before I hit the casino there. So, this is as far as I want to go with that. Okay, then let's see, get a few there. And maybe one more over there. Yeah, that ought to be good. Okay, so we got three, three, and eight. That ought to be good. See if we can finish off these schools and hospitals, and then we'll never need them again. Just need them to get one more gift. Well, at least they're not all developing simultaneously. There we go! We got the ninth and final school that I need to get the library, the third one. So now, schools and hospitals serve absolutely no purpose whatsoever. I only use them to get the gifts and then forget about them for the remainder of the build. Okay, so for this library, let's see, that's as far up as I want to go with it. I don't want to put the library in this donut chain because aesthetic reasons. I don't want to have like two libraries right next to each other. Let's just move out of the way a little bit. Right there. Let's see, I want it to intersect with those two. So yeah, that'll be good enough. So get those ready to go by the time I get over there. Okay, and, well, we haven't gotten anything out of that one yet. So, what I may try to do is something similar to before with the residential zones. Because, I mean, I'll keep the ones around the gifts and everything. But the regular ones, I may just decide to... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Whoops. Itchy trigger finger. I may want to remove some of those residential zones and put them around gifts in other quadrants to kind of move the city around a little bit. 
since I already have so many gifts as it is. So I might as well develop around the gifts first and then fill in everything in the middle. But uh, I'll think about that. Depending on how everything develops there. I am mostly concerned about... Well, actually over here with the new one. Yeah, we got a little too much pollution there, I think. Let's clear the area a little bit. Hmm. I'm just thinking if I should wait a little bit on that one. Or if I should just destroy the industrial zone now. Let's, uh, let's leave it for now. But I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, yeah, we're developing that commercial zone into high class. And yeah, all my, well, almost all my commercial zones are fine with that. But let's get the land value updated here first. Let it gain a level and see if that's really where it's going to stay long term. If necessary, I could just cut off the rail. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of that. Okay, let's move that one somewhere else. Let's see, maybe here? Yeah, that ought to be far enough away from anything that I might otherwise care about. Okay, let's try that one again. Uh-oh. Yeah, it got up to R5 before the land value could update. Whoops. Oh, that, that got that one out of there, too. Hmm. That's fine, we got the gift there. Okay, there we go. We're back in business. Now that the land value updated a little more quickly than I thought I thought it would. So yeah, the development of the first quadrant is going a bit more slowly than in some of my previous builds. Because, oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Whoops. Yeah, I took off the rail there. I, I, for, I forgot about that when they uh, separated there. But that's okay. But now they can develop at my leisure. I'm not worried about that anymore. Yeah, now they've got all the land value problems up to... Or getting taken care of there. But yeah, because I'm being a lot more meticulous about the schools and hospitals, it takes me a little longer to develop things. But as you can see, I'm getting a lot more gifts early on, so that'll really help out well, in the long run, that is. Hey, we got another R-top. Almost got another C-top going there. But yeah, why don't we just fast forward until we get through the rest of the year. Yeah, the C-top I broke up there will recover quickly since we got the gift there. And we became a metropolis. Very nice. Okay, so we got all that. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Yeah, my special income is still more than all of my expenses at this point, even with the police headquarters cutting in on the bill a little bit. But what are we gonna do with all of these loose, com er, loose residential zones? Find out next time on Let's Play Sim City. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!